Just released body camera video is giving us a better idea of what led a Euclid police officer to shoot and wound a teenager this week. News 5 investigator Scott Knoll has been on top of this story since it broke. He joins us live from the newsroom. So, uh, Scott, what have you learned tonight in this? Well, Delon, this afternoon, Euclid police released a clip of that body camera video. It's just over a minute long, but captures the seconds leading up to Wednesday's shooting. We should warn you, the video may be disturbing to some people. That video begins with officers trying to stop a stolen Hyundai Sonata. As Euclid police jump out of their cars, a teen jumps from the passenger side of the Hyundai. Video captures what looks like a gun in his left hand. As police try grabbing the teen, they say he pointed the loaded gun at two officers. One officer then fires. You hear three shots before the teen falls to the ground outside apartments near the intersection of East 222nd and Fox Avenue. Why y'all shoot me, man? Get a gun in your hand, man. No, I didn't. I was a house. Yes, you did. Oh, it might have looked like it. But I promise you I wasn't going to shoot at nobody. Police say that teen is 18-year-old Kevin Item from Cleveland. Investigators say he remains hospitalized with a gunshot to his leg. He's charged with felonious assault. I promise to God I wasn't going to do nothing. Today's update from police did not mention two other teens in the car taken into custody after the shooting. It also did not name the officer who fired his gun. But Euclid police say he's been placed on temporary administrative leave as BCI agents investigate the shooting. Euclid police also gave an update on a detective hurt during that traffic stop. They say he injured his leg when the stolen car hit the detective's car. He was treated at a hospital but returned to work that same day. Live in the newsroom, I'm News 5 investigator Scott Knoll.